What up, what it do, it's your boy JDQ, all right? Tonight's video, the long awaited and promised video of me drawing Harley Quinn, all right? So, um, I'm gonna be straightforward and cut to the chase. So I've already outlined a work area on the paper, kind of like a, a bound, bounding box or boundary box, just to make sure I won't make it bigger than what it should be or smaller or whatever, just to kind of get myself some kind of like, you know, a standard size to just fit it into something. So I'm gonna show you guys that. All right, so within this box, I'll be uh, drawing the um, image that you're seeing on the screen right now. I'm dual recording, so I'm recording with the Canon G7X Mach 2, um, this part of the video, but uh, in front of me, I have the laptop with the actual image that I'll be drawing. So yeah, um, I'll be right back. All right, so um, yeah, I'm gonna be dual recording. Like I said earlier, um, on one side I have the Canon recording the actual, my hands and like the actual like work that I'm doing. Um, and of course laptop, just pretty much to show you guys, um, you know, the image that I'm drawing. And also I am what I like to call um, a visual drawer. So, you know, like I, I'm not keen on drawing stuff off the top of my head, like uh, just like out of my imagination. Um, also, I'm not great at drawing with a skeletal structure. So, you know how like a, a lot of, I wanna say most if not all the professional artists out there in the comic book community or just, you know, any kind of, um, realism drawing or whatever you know whatever type of art you want to call that has some kind of like structure um before the actual details uh they all go through that process of drawing the skeletal part of the body or the character and then they add on the actual form the muscle the shape and all that good stuff i'm not keen on that um i did go to school for that but it just never stuck with me all the way through. So I do understand the concept, um, but it's not my strength. Uh, my strength per se is just like visually drawing something. So for example, um, obviously I'll be, you know, looking back and forth at this drawing in front of me. Um, and I'll be going little by little uh, drawing what I see until of course the image is complete and whatnot. So, just bear with me, all right? But that's just my um, process of actual like drawing. And like I said in videos before, it's been a while since I actually sat down and, and uh, kind of like forced myself to like draw something. So this might take a while. Obviously I'm gonna speed it up um, with editing and all that good stuff, but um, yeah, just giving you guys a heads up that the process will take me, you know, a few minutes. Hopefully not over two hours because that'd be like, dang. But anywhere between an hour and two hours, depending on how perfectionist I, um, you know, remain with it and how um, fast I want to finish the drawing. Obviously, I'm not going to, I'm going to try not to be sloppy. I'm going to try to be as clean as possible. So therefore, that's why I'm going to take a little bit more time than usual. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to shut up for now and just start drawing and start sketching it or whatever. And uh, yeah, here we go.
that's what we got. Okay. It's not, you know, quite exact or precise, but it's pretty close. It's pretty darn close. All right. So yeah. So now I'm going to color her in. All right. Here we go. So, um, it's finished. I will sign it or autograph it, however you want to call it. Um, but I'm just, I'm just gonna show you guys the finished product. Okay. So, recapping before I actually show the the finished work. Um, so I started out with pretty much like a bounding box for myself. That way, I gave myself some limitations to as to where to stay in or what you know how much of it i was going to draw you know because i was not listen guys i'm starting out again okay i haven't done this in a long time so i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible and as basic as possible so um yeah i, I put some limitations to myself some boundaries and you know uh i did a rectangle to make it like an, into like a portrait type of drawing and then of course, I then proceeded to draw, watching the image in front of me, going back and forth. Um, and then of course, after I drew it, I inked it. Uh, and then after I inked it, I colored it in. Um, so this is the finished product. And once again, not to be, you know, uh, what you gonna call it? picky with myself but it's been a while all right and yeah i know i have a long way to go to get back to where i was or even a little better but thus far this is where i'm at you know and yeah i hope whoever wins this enjoys it as much as i enjoy drawing it and coloring it in so uh yeah I'm just going to sign it off, autograph it, and get ready to, to ship it to the lucky winner, whoever it is. All right. And that is my autograph or signature, however you want to call it. And then, of course, it's your boy, JDQ. All right. So anyways guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. Um, it didn't take me as long as I thought it would, but then again, I was still rushing myself, even though I said I was gonna try to like take my time and be clean and all that stuff. Um, I kind of rushed it anyways, uh, just because I wanted to get the, the, I wanted to make sure that I got the video out to you guys, so. I'm sorry that um, it didn't come out quite as good as I wanted it to, but um, this is what it's about. This is the journey of me getting back on the horse and, you know, just kind of warming up and getting back on the saddle and, you know, just getting back to work, some of the things that I love. So I used to love drawing a lot, so obviously. This is the beginning or the continuation of uh, where I left off, I guess. Um, although I do believe I was a lot better than this, but you know, this is where I'm at now. So now just join me on the way of um, perfecting my skills and hopefully later on um, do more detailed drawings and more difficult drawings little by little. But this is the beginning. So thank you for joining me tonight. 
I appreciate the love, the support. Please give this video a thumbs up, comment on the section below, all right? And um, subscribe if you haven't. I'll be doing more of this, more usual, uh, more frequently, I guess. And yeah, it's your boy JDQ, all right? And uh, I know I didn't say it earlier, but peep the hat as always, all right? Love you guys and good night.